Hey, this is Gary Kelly. We're here at ISE 2020. Hey, we just did an interview, but now we're going to do a booth tour with Gordon, uh, with uh, Graham Kirkpatrick. I apologize. Uh, okay. he, he won a big award. Hey, tell him about your award. Yeah, uh, I was lucky enough to be uh, put forward by NEC Display Solutions uh, for AV Service Professional of the Year for the UK and Ireland. Uh, the nomination was in October of last year, and I mean, I, I woke up one day to Twitter congratulations. I'm like, congratulations on what? I didn't realize I'd made the final. So we were at the AV News Awards yesterday, and yeah, I was uh, I was lucky enough to be recognized for the position. So. Well deserved. You're going to see how good this guy is. He really is going to do a great job with this tour. We're starting here, kind of in the back left corner of the NEC booth, um, and uh, obviously you're showing uh, different technologies here. Obviously, side by side, you've got direct view LED and LCD side by side. Absolutely. So if we reference back on the interview, we've actually tried to uh, make it available so customers can see the differences in technologies in their defined space. So what we launched this year is our 0.95 millimeter fine pitched LED. Uh, we're on show here with 165 inch diagonal UHD resolution pixel pitch. Uh, we've had so much interest for this. This is one of our three LED walls within the booth. You can also visit our LED partner, Escort Trap, Hall 8, Booth 100, yep. for custom solutions, and we can have conversations around that. So uh, on our FA series, uh, the great thing about the product is the cabinet designs are identical through all the pixel pitches. So we have a pixel pitch at 0 0.9, 1.2, 1.5, 1.9, 2.5, 3.1, and 3.8 He remembered that all off the top of his head. That's it's impressive. Not, it's not like I do this. Uh, so the great thing about it is all the pixel cards are interchangeable. So you can do a budget conscious delivery today at HD with the ability of being able to just change the pixel cards out in future times for a smaller pixel pitch and you'll be able to increase the resolution without having to change Keeping any the of the same frame. Yeah, and the same install. Of course, well, uh, the, the, uh, the, the competitive alternative flat screen wise would be a 98 inch LCD, which is as big as you can get. Absolutely. So uh, this is our flagship V-Series 984Q. Uh, the product in ourselves also becomes available as a 98 inch touch screen. We're currently one of two global manufacturers that offers a touch screen at this size in a single glass. The great thing for the product that we have here is actually we have a number of unique features and availabilities for secure environments. So we have the ability to lock out USB ports, we have the ability to lock out video ports, uh, we have the ability to lock out IR and key commands. We have in the background running as Navaset Server Edition, so you can run everything as a network enterprise solution. So this is a massive product for us when we're talking to customers. But it's touch too. It, absolutely. Yeah, this one here is not touch, but we can make this touch yeah. with our shadow sense uh, customization, and then that gives us a 10.90 inch touch display. And because it's shadow sense technology, which is one of our partners in Banto, actually it's great for areas of increased ambient light. So when comparing against an IR touch platform, it's a conversation we'll always take customers down the journey for, and it's a selected process naturally just by its own performance. But LC, uh, LCD is still big, and uh, you, you launched a brand new product here at the show. Uh, this week in the uh, ME 551. Uh, That's correct. So uh, in uh, in August of this year, we'll actually launch the new ME series displays. The ME will be the message essential pro platform uh, and will be complemented further in the year by our M, which is message, and our MA series displays. So th you're right, this is our ME 551 display. The great thing about the technology is it's also given us the ability to actually now showcase as well our new embedded uh, Intel smart device module, so an SDM chipset, which is actually delivered direct into the display. So that's an Im embedded signage player, basically. Uh, this is this is an embedded PC platform, so this will complement where we used to have our OPS ranges yeah. as OPS starts to leave our product roadmap. We also have the new uh, NEC compute module powered by Raspberry Pi, which is also available. The great thing for the Message Essential platform is this is actually based on customer feedback over the previous ranges we've had. So these, this new range where we split two ranges into three is designed with customers in mind. The customer input and feedback has helped us map this roadmap product going forward. All right, and, and continuing with LCD, yes. uh, a big part of LCD and flat panels right now is, is collaboration spaces, right? And Absolutely. you've got a host of collaboration products, uh, starting with your Infinity Board, which you guys perfected here in the US before it went out to the rest of the world. Absolutely, I mean, for us, the uh, collaboration uh, the collaboration experience for the customer has always been, until recent years, something that NEC were just not in the market playing for. So we have so many global customers that love the fact that the displays in their room have the NEC name on. So uh, 2016, we came to market with the first generation of the Infinity Board. It was available back then as a 65 
and an 86 inch UHD display. And since then, now in the generation two, we do our 55, we do a 65, the 75 that's behind us and an 86 inch. The great compliment when we stay within the solutions portfolio is that we have a front end user interface powered by UC Workspace with yep. a quick launch application, which gives the customers a truly unique and interpersonal experience when going into a collaboration meeting room. Yeah, and so what that means is that no matter what size, no matter what uh, display you have, you're going to have the same front end interface, which is Quick Launch by UC Workspace. You're demonstrating that here a bunch with, uh, also, you're a platinum partner with Quick Launch, so you have a bunch of special features uh, for, for, we actually shot a video about the analytics that you can get uh, embedded in your partnership with uh, UC Workspace. You can go check out those videos at, uh, at uh, raypubs.com slash ISE2020 and search Quick Launch or search UC Workspace. Now, uh, let's, oh, one other thing about Infinity Board. One thing that was unique about Infinity Board is you, you don't care whose third-party peripherals are connected. You, you basically integrate it so that you can connect rather than tying them to one camera and one mic set. Absolutely. So the Infinity Board, as it takes right now, we have an embedded Hudley IQ camera. Yep. Uh, and in the UC Workspace platforms, they have the ability to interoperate with the camera and make it do unique things, which is, allows us to do head count, room count for people. So, But moving back into the technologies, the great thing about the fact we have a solutions portfolio with customers is that we want to work with our partners and make it easy for our customers. So if I take the base display, for example, on top of the fact that actually it's for us a very powerful statement for our customers. I mean, we can connect this straight onto something like a WebEx room kit, and the WebEx room kit can, can take control of the display yeah. um, through a single HDMI CEC protocol, which WebEx, uh, sorry, which Cisco and NEC have co-developed with one of two partners around the world, which has got that as a full operability. But you're right, I mean, we are completely open platform on our solutions, so we don't care if it's Zoom, where we're doing very good work with Zoom, we don't care if it's Microsoft Teams, Skype, Cisco, it could be any of the software codecs and the big video houses, Polycom life size. As long as it can operate on a PC, we can integrate it straight into the UC, uh, sorry, the UC experience through the uh, Infinity Board. All right, let's move on. But while we're moving on, I have a quick question for you. Um, in uh, the, a lot of the rest of the world, there's a CB series. Have they launched a CB series yet? Is that a coming to, yeah, to Europe as well? Or so not? we launched the CB series at this show in 2019. Okay. And we came to market with it. Uh, so we have a 65, 75, and 86 inch UHD Which offering. Which is like an entry level uh, collaboration board product. Absolutely, one of the great feature sets of it, uh, it and maybe some of our customers uh, want to take us down the education process of how it works for them as well, is it also ships with an embedded Android OS. Yeah. So straight out of the box, because it ships with a wall mount as well, you can lift it, install it, plug it in for power and data, and you can start connecting with it wirelessly through our Mosaic Connect platform. You can start doing whiteboarding through our Mosaic Canvas. Uh, and these are feature sets that are now through our collaboration portfolio through uh, all of our touch screens. So it's been a fantastically recognized product for our market and we have significant customers that are helping us on the development journey of making that solution and that experience much better. Yeah, we, we're lucky to be able to do this. Tour. We tried to do it at 2.30, but we couldn't. The booth was too packed. They're willing to stay late. I know he wants to get to dinner, uh, but you're willing to stay late, <laughs> Graham, to do, finish this tour. Not Where are we going to go next? So we're we're, we're going to just quickly highlight our right. analytics learning platform. Okay, Again, out. powered by Intel. So this has been a very prominent product for our team over in the United States of America. And we've had some fantastic reviews about the intelligence that this gives to clients for their digital signage and their business tools. They've been able to make relevant messages more available to the right audience at the right time. Yeah, I can tell <coughs> who's looking at it, how long they're looking at it. And not the person, but the, some demographics about the person so we can customize Definitely. messaging, uh, usage rates, uh, time of day messaging, all sorts of things like that. I mean, it's this pretty, is such pretty powerful. a powerful software solution for us, and we only expect to see our portfolio within solutions and environments grow based on the back of our success. Now, now NEC uh, is known, has historically been known as a projector company, and I know you That's still correct. have projectors. We do. And you did we launch do. some new ones here. So we've launched three new projectors here at the show this year. Uh, so we have our, if we go top to bottom, we have our new P506QL. So it's an enterprise grade 5000 ANSI lumen UHD projector in a single box with a fixed lens. This really is a sweet spot for us in the marketplace. And we've got so many customers that are already registering their interest for demonstrations. Below the uh, P506QL, we have our new PA10004UL. So it's our LCD laser 10,000 ANSI lumen WX shader projector, which will complement our PX range, which has been hugely successful for us in many environments, most notably higher education and fixed installation auditorias. Then below, we have our new PX2000UL, which is a 20,000 ANSI lumen single chip WUXGA RB laser projector. So for color saturation in its competitive environment, environments, 
This is a fantastic projector. It's really going to set a new benchmark for NEC in that typical installation environment. In the light output of that, that is what again? Sorry, it's a 20,000 ANSI lumen unit okay. and the center lumen measurement. So it, for us, it really is giving us an option now to go in to market spaces that weren't available to us previously. Okay, and where are we? All right, so we're going to move over. To, <coughs> we're going to move over to our AV over IP solution. Yeah. <coughs> So, and, what, and what's interesting about this, I've been looking at this all day trying to figure out how this works uh, because I know that this is an AVIP over, AV over IP integrated solution here. That's correct. And, uh, and, and, uh, and I know that, that, that uh, AV over IP, there aren't any standards yet, yet you're, you, you have a product that basically is kind of universal on the AV over IP platform. Absolutely. Um, I, so the, the great thing is uh, you were one of the guys that announced it for us last year at Infocom, yeah. our partnership with Crestron to yeah. bring an MVX receiver straight into the screen. So we have a V484 display with the Crestron MVX D80 display. Um, so we've had so much interest on this from customers, which is a fantastic feedback. And it also strengthens our relationship with Crestron, certainly here in EMEA. I mean, I moved across to the next screen. I take a personal fondness to this. So two years ago, I was challenged by our business in the UK to assist a customer about being able to do an NDI interface directly into our screen. Yeah. So for customers that don't know that, NDI is, an, is a network device interface, a standard created by Newtek. It's a standard. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and it's a, it's a digital standard which would typically replace environments that SDI installations were very big in historically. Uh, broadcast, long distance learning are two very key architectures that we're looking for. But we actually developed this solution with an Australian partner called BirdDog. So Bird Dog are here at the show, they're in Hall 10, you can yeah. visit them. Uh, they've got a great concept of being able to help us deliver this project and we'll continue to deliver this. We have a lot of customers currently looking at this as a solution uh, for product, uh, sorry, for projects for the next one, two and five years and beyond. One thing to point out is we are literally in the booth after the show. The show yes. is closed. So what we have here is we have Bright Sign and uh, Triple Play, which are digital signage. You can use triple play software on Brightsign players, but Brightsign obviously is shut down. Yep, and, and we uh, also have MV we also have Matrox as well as the which partner. Matrox is another AV over IP using 10 gig yep. AV over IP. So you're showing all the different ways of doing this, but unfortunately, everything's starting to get turned off. So we're going to have to speed it up. Not here. a problem at all. Tell me about this touch table here, because I, yeah. I this was crowded all day long. The, the, it, it's amazing if you can touch something and make it do something for you. How busy this area gets. So the yeah. great thing here is this is utilizing our 65 inch UHD display with a protective touch glass. And it's actually all about the partner that's delivering it. So we have this being delivered with a company called iFactor. And iFactor have got the ability to recognize objects, shapes, yep. touch. Uh, they have the ability to read NFC chips to really make this a true experience. The other great application for this is that within design environments where you can be opening maps, sharing content information in a group audience. You have the ability to turn, rotate, snap, pinch, all the other gestures. Yep. So this is actually our second generation of display and we had a huge success in verticals like automotive retail and design applications with the first generation. Yeah. I've got big expectations for this baby here. It's yeah. a good product. And it's iFactor E-Y-E-F-A-C-T-O-R by yes. the way. Because a lot of people were asking us about that when we shot it earlier. That's correct. And uh, have we missed anything? Because I know you've got a meeting room upstairs, you've got a bar upstairs. We have, we have Have a we bar. missed anything that we should show? Or uh, we I done? mean the other great product I want to come and discuss. <clears throat> So we actually launched it uh, last year or so, and we're having huge success now in fixed installation environments. If we come back to reception, it's our PH3501 QL projector. The world's brightest, and despite its size, the world's most compact RB laser DLP projector. What's the light output? So that's the 35,000 ANSI lumen box. We also do a small sister version of it at 26,000 ANSI lumen. And this is great for rental, staging, fleet management, large fixed auditorium venue installations. Uh, and yeah, we've had a huge amount of access and customer interest in this product for the last two years for us. Yeah, it's, it's projecting halfway across the booth over there. Yeah. And obviously rental applications, staging applications, it's going to be big. And But I think you're going to see this in permanent installations where you need a super uh, bright image as absolutely, well. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, like, look, again, I really appreciate you doing this. Because I know the booth, number one, the booth's closed. Number two, I know he wants to go eat. He stayed <laughs> late to do this because the booth was so packed at 2.30 today. Hopefully this gives you a glimpse of all these products we've covered with individual videos. We've gone around and shot videos all over the show floor. I mean, all over the NEC booth. All you gotta do is go to raypub.com slash ISC2020. Type in NEC in a video search window. Graham, congratulations again Sorry, on your thank award. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking the time. Enjoy the rest of your time in Amsterdam. Yeah. I'll see you at Infocom. I appreciate it. We'll see you at Infocom as well. But also we got a lot more to cover here at ISC. So stay tuned and go to raypub.com for all the coverage.